Members of NAC Kenya are determined to preserve the identity of the Flower Party. Party leader Martha Karua has fixed her eyes on the next general election. She says she's going for nothing short of the presidency. She therefore cannot afford to lose the support of her party members, and so she's talking tough. We are therefore advising our branches countrywide that any member of our party who participates in the proposed PNU elections or agrees to be recruited as an individual member will automatically be deemed to have resigned from NAC Kenya. And if they hold any elective post, then the party will proceed to fill that post in accordance with our constitution. And now Karua has the Political Parties Act to her advantage. The Political Parties Act, this is for the information of all our members countrywide, forbids any person from being a member of more than one political party. She maintains that NAC Kenya is a corporate member of PNU, a member of the Grand Coalition government. We will continue to support the government while at the same time growing itself as a party in readiness for the next general elections. The Party of National Unity PNU has announced that it is embarking on a recruitment exercise countrywide. PNU is seeking to consolidate its membership and then conduct elections for officials. Already at the national level, eight members of parliament have been nominated to coordinate the recruitment exercise. A key affiliate party of PNU, NAC Kenya broke ranks with the Umbrella Party, apparently because of differences over the succession plan after Kibaki retires in 2012. NAC Kenya plans to hold her grassroots elections on the 15th of November.